G'day, how you going? Today, I'll show you how to age steel and make a matching handle for this antique saw. We will also remove the paint without affecting the aged patina below. And as a bonus, at the end, I'll show you how to do a quick and easy mounting clip. Let's get into it. This steel plate is from Mr. Sheet Metal. The guy pointed me to a skip bin and said, help yourself. Can you believe it? I guess I was just there at the right time. I'm going to take this black paint back almost to bare steel and then build up a new patina. Ah, good. Not too rusty. Okay, I've got a slight mistake. I've lined these center punch holes up with these other rivets, so they're lined up perfectly. However, but the holes this end, which incidentally are square holes, don't line up.
I already removed the galvanized coating from these cuphead bolts using vinegar. The first step is to remove the modern maker's logo and reshape the head a bit. Fits like a glove. Now to distress the tops a bit. I'm using phosphoric acid as a rust inhibitor here. This black patina is better than paint. That tapered handle has definitely seen work and can even be original, so I've decided to copy it. cleaned off the forge scale and it's starting to look too shiny so what I need to do now is add some rust, distress it, make it look old and the first step I'm going to do reverse electrolysis. Positive connected to the part.
I left it out a couple of nights with some salt on it. Phosphoric acid again. Right, this is it. I've got the texture I want. See the pitting? Now I'm going to darken them with a blowtorch and linseed oil. You need to take it past that blue colour to make it look old. I'm being very careful here not to scratch the black off. Keep the head of the spanner from touching the washers. The trick is to wipe off the boiled linseed oil so you have the thinnest coat possible. After it dries, add more coats over the next couple of weeks, then go over it with some furniture wax. How to hang and display your newly restored saw.
these hooks that I designed from fencing wire are a good alternative to something like rusty nails banged into your barn wall. If you want to be fancy, you could blacken these too. This is six millimeter rod. You could just as easily use an old screwdriver here too. Screw the wire clip to the wall and you're good to go. As always, thanks heaps for watching.